When assembling a computer, the first thing or step is to open the case. Remove back screws, front panel, and two side panels and replace them on a safe surface. Second, power supply. Mount the power supply and fasten the screws to the case. When routing wires from the power supply to other components, use the back of the case to achieve a clean look. Third, motherboard. You can place the motherboard into the case to double check where the stand-up screws go. Also, be aware of any pre-installed stand-ups. Carefully lining up its rear ports with the corresponding holes in the I.O. shield you just installed. Fourth, Computer Processing Unit Never apply force when placing the processor. If it doesn't align properly, then pick it up and make sure it's placed properly. Apply the thermal paste to the back of the CPU. Fifth, CPU Cooler Some CPU coolers do come with a thermal pad already applied. If your cooler doesn't come with a pre-applied thermal paste, then apply a small pea-sized amount on the top of the processor. Sixth, Graphics Card Graphics card can be large, so make sure you check the dimension of the card before purchasing or it might not fit in your case. Got a thing through each Seventh, Memory Motherboards have 2, 4, or 8 RAM slots. Use your motherboard's manual to see which to fill first, especially if you have two RAM sticks which should be run in dual channel. RAM is a sensitive component and as such, should be handled with care. It's recommended that contact be avoided with the pins on the underside of each module. 8. Storage Drive External storage drives will typically come with two connections that you need to make, power and data, which is why you plug in two separate cables to each drive. Nine, connect fans and other panels. Some computer cases come with case fans already installed or mounted within the case. However, you will still need to plug the power cables of these fans into a header port located on your motherboard. This supplies the fan with power which is required for it to operate. That the stuff was serious. Whole thing cool with external water system. If there were better choices, yo, I must have missed them. Fill the case up with LED. And lastly, Something close the case and connect for corrals. Now that the components are completely installed, the last thing to do is to reinstall the side panels on the case. Connecting peripherals to your computer once it is all assembled is a matter of simply making sure everything you want to use with your computer like keyboard, mouse, monitor, and etc. is plugged into the right spot. The computer is now ready to be turned on and to have a software loaded on it.
In disassembling, some computer technicians best suggest in disassembling a computer is that the last step that you did in assembling is also the first step in disassembling. The steps in disassembling will be displayed on the left side of the screen.